Hey ladies and gents, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Lucy Davis. Now, before we get into the content, um, I just wanted to let you guys know that tomorrow on the 20th of March, I am going to be um, running one of my famous meditations uh, in uh, to celebrate the equinox. Okay, we're, go we're going to be celebrating the equinox. So tomorrow here in the UK, um, the spring ex equinox kicks in. In fact, it's the Northern Hemisphere. Um, so we are going to be celebrating that. We're going to be, uh, I've been given an extremely beautiful meditation um, that is going to take place. So if you are not already a subscriber to this channel, please do hit the subscribe button. And at 4 p.m. UK time, I will be here on YouTube live taking you through a very, very, very beautiful meditation. Yes, it will be available for people afterwards, but if we can have as many people around the world on it as possible, we'll be able to light up the grid. It's a, it's a very beautiful meditation that they've given me. So um, we'll be able to light up that grid and actually start stepping things forwards. And then the people that listen to it later will be able to continue that movement forwards for us. So that is tomorrow, the 20th of March, 2022 um, at 4 p.m. UK time. Do check out the community page and obviously do subscribe so that you get the notifications as soon as I'm live. I will probably go live um, about five to four, something like that. So do keep your eyes open and um, we will go from there. Anyway, this video is called New Earth Is Here. Oh, it's about time that we had some frank discussions about what is coming for all of us, don't you think? So as you guys know, um, I'm an intuitive and I have been working uh, in different roles over the last couple of years, two and a half years. Um, pre the Rona, as I like to call it, um, I was an intuitive transformation coach and I still am that today, uh, but I helped people on their asc ascension journey, stepping into their self-love. For about the first, I don't know, eight to 12 months of the um, the lockdown or, you know, the restrictions and stuff uh, through 2020 into 2021, I very much held space um, for people to go on their awakening journey. So very much about truth, um, very much about, you know, bringing things up into the consciousness so that the masses could awaken. Um, and then in early 2021, I was told very, very clearly that I needed to work much more with the levels of consciousness rather than the truth. There was plenty of people doing that. I wasn't required there anymore. Kind of like, right, you're on to your next role. And that's what this video is about today. There is a lot of people out there that are not recognizing that things are taking place. People keep saying to me, Lucy, when are we going to hear something? When is something going to step forward? And I, as things are stepping forwards constantly. Now, please don't think I watch the news or I don't even follow the truth channels particularly anymore. You know, I do have people that say, oh, have you seen this? Or, you know, that pop into my inbox because obviously I've still got friends that are still doing that. But it's very, very limited that I dip into that um, at all these days. And I'm still seeing things are shifting in a massive way. Like I don't even need to see it. I can feel it. I can feel it energetically that things are shifting at such a huge rate at the moment that, you know, the tribes are being formed. And this is where I'd like to start this video today um, is around partnerships. So there is a lot of people at the moment that are starting to repel each other so maybe it could be an intimate relationship it could be a friendship it could be a business it could be like whatever the relationship is you might start to just you know drift away from those people over there and I have done a lot of this recently which is why I feel comfortable and confident sharing it whereas before I really wanted to um, activate my warrior and you know get shit done sorry about the language but it's true that's what I was feeling I really wanted to make a difference and I you know I really wanted to you know take the old stuff down and build the new and just rah, let my warrior out but actually I've reached a level of acceptance with the old and I don't mean that means I'm going to tolerate it I've just gone we can't change it so why am I going to even focus one tiny bit of my attention and my very precious energy on that when all I need to do is focus on the new and building the new? 
now, of course, as somebody that was very vocal before the, the um, you know, the lockdown and then somebody who was very vocal through the truth movement, obviously a lot of people are going, oh, I don't like what she's talking about now because I want to go to war. I want to fight. I want to battle. That's absolutely fine. It doesn't mean that they're not your people. It just means they're not your people right now. There are a lot of people that still need to get that stuff out of their system. And I love them for it because, you know, they're doing their bit for humanity. Like we've all got roles right now. No one person is doing the right thing. And this is why I encourage you all to be in a place whereby you are authentic, whatever that looks like. So right now, um, I don't I don't particularly choose to be around the people that are, you know, trying to fix the old stuff. I just I've got I've got no interest in it. I'm really um, about creating the new now like I say it doesn't mean that I don't like those people or whatever it's just they're not my tribe right now I am going to work with the people who are focusing on bringing in the abundance and bringing in the new change rather than trying to my favorite saying and some people that are my clients will laugh right now but we're pushing shit up a hill with the old stuff you know, and if you think about pushing shit up a hill, what that would look like, it would go all over your face, right? And that's just what I feel with this. It doesn't mean you need to feel the same. So in this sense, these breaking down of partnerships and these new collaborations of partnerships are creating the new earth. So when you're starting to step away from people and you're starting to fit in a little bit more here, or maybe you're drawn to move area or something like that, trust that you are um, going in alignment with your soul and your soul path, and you're going to be stepping into whatever feels right for you. Now, if you are somebody who still wants to be, you know, a massive part of the truth movement and you still want to be in that, please honor that. That is your role. That is your journey. OK, please honor that. Again, you might get to a point where you go, nah, this is repelling me now. Like, I don't want to hear that stuff. And that's that's where I've actually got to. Um, and I know a number of my followers have got to. I'm actually bored of it. I'm bored of hearing about it, you know, and, you know, my my ego is like, I really hope people hear about this stuff. And I really hope they see what we've done over the last couple of years. But that's my ego. It just, I just want validation as to, you know, all of the hard work that I did was worth it. But really, do we need that? From my perspective now, no. From, from my perspective and the reason that I, uh, that I wanted to share that we have New Earth being created right now is because there are pockets of people all around the world who are coming together, creating and manifesting um, the abundance, the tools, the land, everything that we are going to need for going forwards. Now, you, you get to decide where you put your energy, where you, where you put your attention. Quite frankly, like it's none of my business what you, what you choose to do. However, I'm choosing to be going with the new because for me, the new is exciting. The new is much higher vibrational because we're not going to put up with any of this nonsense. We're not going to put up with, you know, being, um, you know, moved around like a, a little puppet by the puppet masters. Like we're not we're just not going to put up with that. So that's the that if you feel about let's sit in the murkiness of what's going on today and collapsing it and going to war with it. Or you sit in the let's create the new. Which one do you feel in your body and just feel into it? Which one in your body feels better to you? Go with that one. It might not be where the popular kids are hanging out. It might not be where you're going to get, you know, recognized and patted on the back all the time because people are busy creating the new. But if it feels right to you, go with that. We have been under a spell and under an illusion for such a long period of time. This is still taking place. It's still taking place. So many people, I, you know, they, they say that they're free and they're done of this and da, 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 but they're still contributing into that world. So how are they free of it if they're still in it? It just doesn't make any logical sense to me. So pick wisely. New Earth is here for you if you choose to take it. Are you still doing all of the old stuff that is expected of you just because you're scared of having a tough conversation? 
Are you buying into certain things because that's all you know? And it is a mind screw. What we're going through at the moment is a total mind screw. So I get it. If you can't see a world without government, if you can't see a world without police and army, I get why you are staying with that. Like, I, I get it. There's no judgment whatsoever. However, I don't see a world where we need governments. I see a world where there's going to be pockets of beautiful conscious communities and they get to decide what they want. That's how I see it going. And that's what I'm excited about. There's no one leader. There's no one being put on a pedestal. It's just, we all bring our skills to the party, which is why it's important that you pick your tribe carefully. Who are you gonna energy exchange with? What contribution are you bringing to the party? We don't want to be in a world whereby our, our community has loads of people that are just like, nah, I'm just gonna let Lucy get on with it, or nah, I'm just gonna let so-and-so get on with it. You know, they seem to know best. No, we need people that are going to be like, right, I knit, I knit, I'm an amazing knitter, I can help keep the kids out, you know, make hats for everyone and scarves for everyone when it gets cold here in the UK. Um, what I really need is somebody who can provide me the, the, the clean fruits and vegetables without the herbicides, pesticides, things like that. Great. You make the clothing in the winter and, and whatever we need of the wool. And I am going to give you the fruits and vegetables that you require. So there's an energy exchange there. Right. What else do we need? We need somebody who's going to provide the sheep so that we've got the wool to be able to create the clothing. Now, that is a world that I see. Now, some of you will be like, I can't get my head around that right now. Like, who's going to make our decisions for us if the government don't decide? Like, who are we going to pay our council tax to, for example? That is three dimensional paradigm. And anybody talking about it like that, you have to know you are still continuing to buy into the three dimensional paradigm. Every time you, you believe that that is what you need to do, work really hard to get paid a pittance, give you know, anywhere between 20 and 50% of your salary to the government. Like if you truly believe that that is normal, then that's fine. But own the fact that you're staying in the lower 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 paradigm lower vibrational consciousness whichever way you want to talk about it people might call it 3d but we've got to own it we've got to own where we are putting our attention new earth is there let me be straight with you it is there for the people that are choosing it now i call it new earth uh you might call it heaven on earth OK, and I don't mean we're literally going to go, right, OK, here is a whole new earth, you know, whatever you perceive that to be. We're going to go and live on there so we don't have to deal with this stuff. No, I do see a level of coexistence. I do, I do see a level of coexistence. OK. What we must recognise is everything we are speaking, everything we are thinking, every action that we take, it is creating our reality. So if you haven't got your way with somebody and you're having a hissy fit about it, own the fact that that is your ego talking, own the fact that you are holding yourself back, own the fact that you are having that hissy fit and you're looking for attention and I'm off that person now because, you know, I didn't get my own way with them. Like recognize that that is you and that is your healing. You have a choice to continue living in that, which is a lower vibrational paradigm or saying, do you know what? I'm going to have the conversation with the person. I'm going to choose to go to a higher vibrational consciousness. And remember, everything that you are experiencing, any triggers that you get are your own shit. You cannot be triggered if it's not within you to be triggered. We must own this. So get your head clear. Do you really see, and I'm not talking in 50 years time or in 100 years time, do you really see going back to a much more simplistic life or maybe going to much, much higher technologies? Or do you continue to see the fact that you're going to have to work, you get paid a salary, you do these things like, what does that look like to you? Can you actually get your head around the fact that this might not actually be the reality that we should be living in. Ask yourself. Ask yourself those questions. And please don't judge yourself if you're like, no, I can't see it. 
I literally don't know how to comprehend this. I, 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 I would like the principle of it. I like the thought of it. It makes me feel warm and fuzzy, but I can't see how we're going to make it work. Be honest with yourself because then you will find people who can help you go on that journey, help you experience a different level of it. I do not see that we need to have these uh, barricades, which, have, which is what's been put around us previously. You know, we have to be in debt. Like that doesn't make any logical sense to me. It doesn't make sense to me that, you know, the, the natural things that mother nature provides to us for free, we have to pay for it. Like it just doesn't make logical sense. It's never made logical sense to me. I've always questioned this stuff. But I've never known what to do about it. Now I do, thankfully. You need to decide whether you are ready to start living in a paradigm that you are dreaming about or if you are comfortable where you are, even if it's not comfortable because you don't have the money and you don't have, you know, like the things that you would really like to have, but you don't really see another way. Like, and, and just own it. New Earth is here. We have shifted so much. The first wave of people, um, not that woke up to the truth, but that, that really have started elevating the consciousness, they, that group of people have really shifted so much. We have shifted so much of the noise, we've shifted so much of the murky waters, and that's why there's waves of people. Now, I do see in the next maybe six weeks, there will be a massive wave of people waking up. Um, and that's, when I say waking up, I'm talking about the truth. Like, um, going from truth into consciousness is a, a completely different thing. There's a lot of people that get the truth out there, but they don't have a conscious bone in their body. And it's just about an evolution, okay? It's, it's the time that it's going to take for them to actually recognize that there is a much bigger picture than, um, you know, what, what, what they perceive at the moment. So no judgment from this video, okay? There's no judgment at all. It might not resonate with you, that's absolutely fine. The, me the message clearly isn't for you then if it doesn't resonate, but if it does resonate with you, what are you gonna start to do? What are you doing to bring yourself into alignment? Like I share so much. I share my cooking. I share my, you know, everything through my social media. I share my opinions. Um, so do go to the description box if you want to follow me on my social media channels because I do videos uh, probably like five times a week on my on my Instagram channel um, and I'm constantly sharing things you know through my stories predominantly but things that I'm eating places that I'm going the meditations you know sitting out in nature what I'm doing so if you're like like I really like what this chick is talking about and I really want to get my head into the game of being in new earth all you need to do is follow and observe and you will see I'm not I'm not the person that's putting fear porn out I'm not the person who's like beating the drum on the truth and like because it's freaking irrelevant be, but, but honestly it's really irrelevant and the more attention we give to it all we're doing is creating more of it in our reality I don't, I don't experience it because I just don't give it any of my attention but what I do experience is magical synchronicities and conversations and groups of people that are manifesting the new and all of a sudden the new is appearing <sighs> And, and it's as simple as that. You are going to live the experience that you are choosing. So choose very, very wisely, my friends. Very, very, very wisely. Okay. Right. I feel that's enough for a rant for today. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm actually going to link back to the full moon video. Um, it was the full moon on the 18th of March. And the energy is very profound. Um, you can do the um, little little exercise that I gave you in there um, up to about 10 days after. So I'm going to link back to that here. Um, do buckle up. We've got a lot more to come in March yet, let alone April. So um, ladies and gents, I will see you tomorrow to do the most incredible, incredible Equinox meditation with you all. Okay. Lots of love. I will see you super soon. Take care. Have a good day.